Please stand clear of the doors. Por favor, manténganse alejado de las puertas. Ladies and gentlemen, this is our final boarding call and the doors will be closing soon. Thanks for joining us once again this holiday season. I'm Tim Scott, joined by his lovely wife, Dawn. And last show, we talked about initial trip to, as we called it, the MCO and to the Animal Kingdom Lodge. Talked about our dinners, our experiences. Now we're going to talk about going to the parks. Yes. We had two days in the parks. Definitely not long enough, but we'll take what we can get. Sometimes that's all you can fit in. Now, before the, let's let's get into this, because we had debated for probably months. Actually, we were in the pool in the summertime talking about how did we want to do this? It was a long, drawn out discussion. Because, you know, in June and July, everything sounds fantastic. Right. Everything's like, yeah, I want to do all that. Because on a, was it Saturday? There was a uh, Christmas party? Sunday. Sunday was the Christmas party. And then, uh, you know, what else? We thought maybe we wanted to do the Christmas party. We knew we wanted to do Epcot. Right. Epcot's our favorite park. And then we also like uh, MGM Studios, or uh, I'm sorry, Disney's Hollywood Studios. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Flashback. Flashback. And you know what? All the real fans still call it MGM. I know. <laughs> <laughs> I need to get a t-shirt. It's still MGM. Um, <laughs> so in the end, we decided, because we didn't know what the weather would be like. And actually, had we gone on that Sunday night, now looking back. Oh, I would, would have been happy. It would have been a rainy park day. Yeah. Because we were at Epcot that night and we got rained on. Yes, we did. But we'll get to that in a little. We'll get to that later. So in the end, we decided to go with Friday night. No, I'm sorry, Saturday in the Magic Kingdom. Yes. And then Sunday we went to Epcot. Right. How did you find the bus ride from the Animal Kingdom Lodge? Because you know we, that's our only choice. Right. Because we did not rent a vehicle. We didn't rent a car. And actually, from you know, I usually don't mind taking the bus if you're there because it drops you off at least closer to the gate. Right. Instead of parking the car. That it, part I like. It's fine. Yeah. yeah. I found it frustrating because people are people and yeah. not everybody has the same ethics as other people. Yeah. And ethics it, or they're just oblivious. At, at best, it, they're oblivious to what's going on. Okay. We'll say that they're, they're oblivious. All right. And that's the best. Uh, at it's probably best more case scenario. The okay, other we'll way. just, we'll go with that, that they're oblivious. So this was the scenario we had gotten to the area where the Magic Kingdom bus was going to pick us up. When we got there, there were probably six or seven other people waiting because a bus had just left. And there was, according to like the little screens they have, which I love. Yes. There was about eight more minutes before the bus was going to come. And as you know, resort guests get in 30 minutes earlier for early entry. And it was already pushing eight o'clock and it's a 20 minute bus ride to magic kingdom. Right. In that amount of time, quite a few other people had come quite a few. Yes. In the three minutes before the bus came, there was a good bus full of people there. Oh yeah. Two minutes before the bus came, a party of 15 came and one of the members in their party had a member in a scooter. Yes. Who rolled up to where she was supposed to be. Yeah. In the handicap little rectangle. And the driver of the bus pulled up, loaded that woman who was in the scooter and her party of 15, which took up half the bus. Right. And it angered, I would say, <laughs> three-fourths of the people who were standing there. Yes. And I don't know what the solution is to that. I, I don't. I don't know what the other than putting up stanchions and having a queuing area. Right. Because most of the queuing areas at Disney World accommodate scooters and wheelchairs. Like, why do you have to have a handicapped spot there? Right. You know? I think it's just they're in the, they're in the right spot. To I, I know, but I'm saying but if you yeah. have the stanchions there, they can queue through the stanchions like everybody else. You know, why can't you put up metal bars to queue there? You know, but they don't queue like that at the parks. They have the handicap area there. Right. And so as you can well imagine, half of the people did not make that bus. 
yes. because of that woman and the 15 people in her party that were allowed to load that bus with her. Right. And then after, the, you know, both the doors were open, the front and the back door. Right. And the bus driver told us, you know, go in the back because right th- there's people up in the front. Mm-hmm. So, we, you know, we go to the back and then people go to the front of the, anyway, get in and walk all the way to the back. Right. <laughs> so there was nowhere for the people to go. Right. They were walking in the back following the bus driver's directions. Right. We were lucky. We were like the last two that got on. We were the very the, last two because I was right at that door. Yeah. That got on and we were by the very back door, by the back door. And there was still half the bus was still waiting. Yeah. I felt bad, although, I mean, I didn't feel as bad because we were like probably persons five and six that had gotten there or maybe, yeah, yeah. Yeah. but there were definitely people waiting that had gotten there before this woman and her party of 15. Yeah. And I don't understand, like when we had taken my parents and my mom and dad were in a scooter, we had gotten to, we were going home for the evening and I think it was just you and me and my dad and my dad was in a scooter Right. and there was another woman in a scooter. I don't know how long she had been waiting there, but longer than my, than the three of us. And there was a whole queuing line of people waiting to go back to old Key West. And the bus driver came and he loaded the woman in the scooter and whoever was with her and went to load my dad. And, you know, my dad's like, I said, tell, I told my dad, I said, no, no, tell them that we'll wait for the next bus because all these people were here before us, dad. And my dad was like, no, 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 we're going to wait. All these people were here before us. Yeah. And the bus driver was like, no, 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 I can load you. You're in a scooter. And my dad's like, no, that is not fair. Right. All these people, let them go. We'll wait. Yeah. Because you weren't oblivious. We're not, you weren't, no. we weren't oblivious to what was going on. Exactly. The driver's like, are you sure? My dad's like, absolutely, I'm sure. You know, the only time that, and the woman did not look like, I mean, I mean she was on a scooter. She was driving the scooter herself. The only time, in my opinion, that someone who is in a wheelchair that should be loaded before other people that are waiting is if it is a person who clearly has other physical, not physical, but mental handicap or someone who needs to get out of the Florida heat that is having other issues other than just like, oh, I just have some mobility issues. You know, that's a whole different ball game. Right. Or a child that, you know, has other issues that can't wait other than just like some mobility issues. That's not, that is a whole different ball game. Right. You know, then let that family go. But if you're a party of 15, <laughs> that's ridiculous. You can send the person in the scooter and a couple people with her, then say the rest of you wait, say, you know what? You know what, grandma? These people were all here before us. You go on ahead and we'll wait. Or say, you know, oh my gosh, all these people were here before us. Let's hang back. Let them go. We'll catch the next bus. That was ridiculous. Like I said, at best, they were just oblivious and didn't know what was going on. But chances of them them being totally oblivious, eh, I don't think so. All 15 of them being oblivious? Mm -mm. They got a lot of dirty looks on that bus. (laughs) They 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 did not have a magical bus ride, I don't think. uh, (laughs) I think they were trying to, but I don't think they did. And I think there were a few people that made a few snarky comments to them as they were getting off the bus i heard a few little snarky comments i'm like well i'm not saying anything snarky because i'm not going to ruin my magical day because i'm just not going to let it ruin my day because what they did didn't have any impact on me right and i didn't want it to ruin my day and i didn't want it ruin their day because what they did that's on them not on me right so but i think the bus drivers maybe need to be a little bit more aware maybe but you know but how do they do that though yeah they don't know when people get there in what order no I mean, unless they ask, you know, you know, is it okay if I load this person? How long have they, you know, have y'all been waiting? I don't know. Or, Everybody thumbs up or thumbs down. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Or, you know, have a rule. I am I can load you and six, you know, total of six in your party. But to load 15. Right. That's ridiculous. <laughs> I don't know. Anyway, we totally. got there. We got there. And, and we had decided early on that we didn't know how we felt about riding Tron. We did not. So we did not try for the virtual queue no, for but, Tron. But we did sign up for the Genie Plus. We did. As, as we hit it on the last show. Yes. So we did do that because it's the Saturday after Thanksgiving and we thought it's going to be crazy. Right. Because it's always crazy Thanksgiving weekend. And I want to say better to have it and not need it. Right. But we want to get some things done. So we'll, Right. Because we only had the two days and two we days. only had one day in the Magic Kingdom. Right. And then lo and behold, 
It was a pretty slow day. I was like, okay, we. I kept wanting to like make Genie Plus reservations for like later in the afternoon when there would be crowds. I didn't want to wait in line. And but they weren't filling goodness, up. No, I kept like looking to like make these things for like later in the day. <laughs> the ride times were like 9.05, 9.20. Right. And when we kept checking for like wait times, they were like 10 minutes, right. <laughs> five minutes. <laughs> like what in the world is going on here? Because as they fill out, you know, the times get later in the day and that just really wasn't right. happening. I think because I was like, I thought I was using the Genie Plus wrong. And I finally figured out what I was doing. As long as there's been Genie Plus, it's always been you take the next available ride time. I thought you could choose your ride time. I think that's when I had that confused with the old Fast Pass Plus, or the, when you could choose your ride times online. Oh, okay. I had that confused. As long as Genie Plus has always been the next available ride time. Yes. So when we got in there, we made a beeline to Buzz Lightyear. We did. So we went to Buzz Lightyear and we rode. And for the first time ever, I beat you. You did. I doubted the calibration of my firing mechanism. Oh, yes. Oh, he was all up in arms that his laser blaster was working correctly because he <laughs> didn't become a galactic hero. Oh. So I didn't either for the record. So anyway, <laughs> but I still beat him on Buzz Lightyear. You did. I did. So we got off Buzz Lightyear, and then we went to Peter Pan. We did go to Peter Pan. And we waited in line for Peter Pan because it was only like, it said like 25 minutes. I, I think, think it, it said was, 25, and it was It was like 15. 15. Yeah. So, But I always like to go through the queue in Peter Pan because it's so cute. It is. Cute. So we rode Peter Pan, and then we got off Peter Pan, and we went to Haunted Mansion, where the wait time was 13 minutes. <laughs> Loved it. But we really walked right it on. It was really a walk on, absolutely. So to Haunted Mansion. Then after Haunted Mansion, I thought this was really cute. All day long, we kept seeing the country bears walking around. We've never seen the country bears yes. walk around. They were walking around all day long. They, did, they were. So that was good. People love the country bears. Yeah. And then we, what did we do next? I think we did do Pirates next. And then we uh, did lunch before we did went to Jungle Cruise, I think. I think we did lunch before then. And so we ate at Pecos Bills, which is always one of our favorites. Did you enjoy your Pecos Bills? I did enjoy my, I always enjoy Pecos Bills. I did as well. We had to eat outside though, because it was so cold inside. It was... They had the air conditioning cranked up to like zero. <laughs> it was so cold we ate outside. But it's not like it was hot outside though. It was quite pleasant outside. It was. It wasn't, it wasn't cold like it was the day before, but it was like low 70s, but it was cloudy but it wasn't windy. Right. It was just pleasant. It was very pleasant. Yeah, it was like I had capris on and a short sleeve shirt. So it was nice. We would never eat outside in the summer. At no, Pickles. no. Not so it was million. very nice it to eat It was very outside. nice. But it was so cold inside. I, like, I usually like to eat inside, but oh, <laughs> no. No. And then we did the Jingle Cruise. We did. I always enjoyed the Jingle Cruise. I, I, I just like all the Christmas decorations around the uh, pier there. Yeah. But we did use the Genie... Plus for that. Thank goodness we did. That was probably the one yeah. place where we really it was like used eight, the... like 80 or 90 minute wait for yes. that. So we did do that. I did not enjoy it this time. Um, yeah, the captain... He he wasn't funny. He was mean. I think he needed to work on his delivery. I'm not sure. He was... It was not funny. He was just outright mean. <laughs> his jokes were mean. Yeah, he didn't have a very good... Is rapport the word, word I want to use? Maybe? That's I don't the word. Know. I was like, he, this one poor lady and this guy he was picking on. I was like, oh, I think you think you're being funny, but you're not. You're really being mean. I don't know if the guy was actually like trying to stand up or stick his hands outside of the boat because I was watching the captain. I wasn't watching this guy. So I don't know if maybe the guy was really not following. I don't know. I didn't see it either, but, but I was just kind of like, but there was still a nicer way that he could have said that. I perhaps. Yeah. Yeah. But even some of his jokes, I don't know. He just wasn't funny. Well, sometimes you'll tell a joke, don't ask me how I know this, that you think is very funny and your delivery is to totally wrong and it just doesn't hit. Well, none of his hit. It was awful. Yeah, yeah. only a couple of them really hit, but most of them were like, mm, you need to work on your delivery because that was actually a funny line. I guess. I know funny lines. Yep, you do. You're a pretty funny like guy. Like dotted and curved. Those are funny lines. Yeah. I don't know. <laughs> it was just... It was weird. It was not one of the better ones that we have been on. And we've had some really, really good captains. Oh, absolutely. So I guess when you compare it, him to all the good ones that we've had, wah, wah, wah. <laughs> he was not one of them. But anyway, is what it is. So I think, unless I had this out of order, 
and I quite possibly may. I think from there we went to a Hall of Presidents. We did. Which, uh, I always enjoy a good Hall of Presidents, something that's good to just get out of your feet, get out of the sun. And I remember the theater wasn't uh, tremendously cold, wasn't tremendously hot, it was very comfortable. So I enjoyed that a lot. Then we came out of the Hall of Presidents. Oh, right into the parade. It was magical. It was. It was <laughs> so good. We didn't have to wait in a line. We just walked out of the door and there it was. <laughs> I actually recorded most of it on my phone. I'll probably post that online somewhere at some point. But just a little bit of that Disney parade magic. Like I said, I'm not really a daytime parade person, but it happens right in front of me. Oh, yeah. Especially because we were like second row. Oh, absolutely. And there were short people in front of us. <laughs> I.e. children. <laughs> <laughs> So that was great. I hope you said I.E. and not I eat, because that'd be a totally different <laughs> show. <laughs> but the parade, quite lovely. Plenty, short enough that, you know, it kept your attention span and all that. Oh, yeah. Then we left. We wandered out of, eventually, we I think we wandered back. Oh, we had to go to the restroom. We wandered out of Adventureland. And for the first time ever, not in forever, but for the first time ever, I actually had some of the famed Adventureland cart spring rolls. You did. I did not. No, you didn't. I offered. Oh, oh! before we did that, we decided to go ahead. It was almost one o'clock. And I'm like, well, I don't know. Should we ride Tron? Should we not ride Tron? It was almost one o'clock at that point. Right. And I said, let's go ahead and do a virtual queue, even if we don't use it. We'll see how we feel about it. But we'll right. see if we can get it. So we did decide and we got a virtual queue. Bingo, bango. So we did do that. And then you got your spring rolls. Then I got my spring rolls. So I got the uh, the pepperoni spring roll, I think, or unless they call it pizza, and the cheeseburger spring roll. They were fantastic. They lived up to the hype. I got to say, I'm a fan now. I, I'm i just, I'm so picky. I just didn't eat. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't even like, want to try it. I'm like, nope. <laughs> <laughs> but I will say, I don't know if I would enjoy it much in like 98 degree heat. Yeah. But a nice cool day or not, not so hot day. They were mm -hmm. quite pleasant. They were very good. Oh, that's good. They were filling. I think I like the cheeseburger a little bit more than the pepperoni. Mm -hmm. See, when you say cheeseburger, I'm like, cheeseburger and spring roll, I'm like, yeah, no. You wouldn't think so. But alas, yeah. it was good. Well, that's good. I'm glad that you enjoyed it. I did enjoy it. So now I got oh, something good. else. I got another food I got to eat. <laughs> <laughs> nice. I know. Add that to the list. <laughs> so what did we do after that? We just kind of, we wandered around. We people watched a little bit. Then we went back and, oh, we did Carousel of Progress. Who doesn't oh, enjoy the favorite. carousel progress? I love it. And then we were going to do the people mover. We were. And alas, then. The people mover, I think, was down all day unless they got it going up in the evening. Well, night. I mean, it was down. It, it was going earlier because I'm like, we could ride the people mover. I'm like, well, that's never a line. So we could ride that later. Famous last words. Yeah. Because it, it went, went down, down and it stayed down. It stayed down and we left. And we leave. Like Nine ish, 8 30 ish. Yeah. And it was, still wasn't up. So I was very And that was really the last thing we had to do because we did everything else. We did Winnie the Pooh. We did. Oh, the only other thing we, we didn't do was Small World. And that was down too. When it we was were down there. for a while. It went back up, and then I just wasn't feeling it. Then the other thing we wanted to do, we didn't do. Oh no, did we do the train? We did the train. Was oh say we yes, did do we the did train. the train all the way around. I love the train. No, we didn't do it all the way around. We didn't do it all the way around. We were. I was gonna. We were gonna get back on and go back up. Yeah, we did from Frontierland to Fantasyland. Yeah. Which is fine, because I really we wanted to ride the train. train. I wanted to ride the train. We hadn't ridden the train forever, but we did ride the train. I wanted to actually do the train all the way around, Yeah, and then we got off. We got off. We, we had things to do. But we were looking off to the left, and through the trees, I could see a monorail. It was crazy. Yeah. <laughs> that was kind of weird. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, look to the left, there's a monorail. <laughs> so I don't know if they've been thinning out some of the trees back there that I could see, because I don't recall ever really seeing it before, but yeah, I who don't knows? Know. And we did get the infamous, famous Walt Disney World churros. We did. So how was your were, churro? It was. I don't know if it was seven dollars and fifty cents worth of a churro, but it was good. <laughs> I mean, I think that's a little bit expensive for a churro, it's, but they're long. They're good. Thank you. I just thought that was a little bit expensive for a churro, but they were very good. They were very good. And so, people say the Disneyland churros are better. Really? I, I mean, wonder what the difference is. I don't know. That's what people. people People debate about that. Well, I think that we need to go to Disneyland and try for ourselves. Don't think it's not on my radar. Well, let's get on move on then. Could we please? Yep. I would very much like to do that. Anyway, the next thing, because I'm going through my photo reel here to see exactly what we did in what order. Okay. Next I'm seeing here is Tron. Well, we did decide to do Tron. We did decide to do Tron. And here's another tip for you. Bring Don't it. be this lady. Don't. Oh, man. You know. You know. The days are so pleasant, and we have see so many positive things, and then it, you, for sure. you just see the 
one or two things that you're like, oh, come on. You're in a magical place. Let's be, let's act like Don't we're magical. Don't be rude to other people. Don't be rude. Okay, so maybe I shouldn't be like this and stick up for her or whatever. I don't know what's going on. Maybe this was the last thing they needed to do and they needed to get to the airport. I don't know. Could possibly be that they were leaving that night and had to get to the airport. I Could don't be. know. I don't know. Don't know. Apparently, they had the boarding group after us. We were boarding group like 114. I'm assuming they were boarding group 115. They were, it was a party of like four. Yes. They were waiting literally five feet from where you scan in your card or Mickey band or whatever, the magic band to the turnstiles, literally five feet. And she has her phone out and she's just hitting refresh, refresh, (laughs) refresh, refresh, Right. waiting for her boarding group to come up. Yes. Okay. She waited in line guessing her group would be called soon by the time they got there. Yes. And a last note. And so in the meantime, everybody who has a boarding group before her, i.e. 114 and below, are coming up the walkway. Okay. So we're all scanning in, mm-hmm. you know, our little magic bands and, you know, going into Tron. We were kind of keeping an eye on it because I'm like, what is she doing? So as soon as her boarding group was called, she merged right in in front of people. (laughs) She did not go to the end of the line, which was back quite a ways. Oh, yeah. So instead of doing the polite thing and going to the end, nope, she merged right in with everybody else. And it's not like the line wasn't moving. It was moving pretty good. Oh, yeah. So it's not like you were standing still and you're just constantly walking. Right. So it wouldn't have felt like a long time at all. No. I mean, she must not have gotten a virtual cube at 7 a.m. She must have not gotten hers until because we got ours at one. Right. So that must have been when she got hers. And maybe they just had to get to the airport after they rode. I don't know. Maybe. Maybe she's just not a nice person and she just wanted to cut in front of everybody and do other things. I don't know. (laughs) But it's like, just don't be like that. Just wait your turn. Right. So it's not like she wasn't going to get on. Right. She had a boarding group. True. Uh, And literally, from the time you and I scanned into Tron until we were on that ride, it could have, we chose because of my vertigo and everything else. I'm like, I do not see myself riding on one of the bikes. I just couldn't. Oh, I knew I wasn't getting on the bike. Well, now without bungee cords, duct tape, and. (laughs) zip ties there was no way i was getting on that bike well i wasn't gonna do it either because i'm thinking i cannot lean forward and have my head and everything else i thought this just isn't gonna go i don't know how people do that and lean forward so we were in the back car the back what do you call it the accessible accessible car the comfy car the yeah whatever you can't straddle a bike car i don't know what they call it (laughs) and it was fine i both got in okay sat down okay right i debated somebody said i was in line i thought Remind me to take my glasses off and put them in the pouch or something like that. Right. Because I don't want them flying off because you know, I have to drive home from Florida. Right. And the lady was like, I ride mine on here all the time. There's I've never had a problem. I'm like, okay. I'm like, I don't see that at all. I feel if I, if I turn my head a little bit, they're blowing off my face. <laughs> so. You took yours off. I took mine off. I put them in the pouch because I'm pretty convinced that they would have blown off at the launch. <laughs> <laughs> this is true. But I did ride... I. I, it's a good thing it's a virtual queue because I could not have ridden more than once. It would have been bad. Oh, no. But I did ride. And, and I did who are okay. these people who say the ride isn't that fast? I don't know. That's a fast ride. Now, first of all, it's a short in, in duration ride. Mm-hmm. Nothing moves fast. Yes. I liked so. it. Oh, I, I liked it. But here's the thing. Before the I'm ride. I'm more of a roller coaster person than you. Oh, absolutely. I just can't ride because of my vertigo and my motion sickness and stuff, I love them, but it just it makes me sad that I can't ride. Like my most comfortable anymore. Disney roller coaster is Big Thunder. I always like that one. It's just enough. Why didn't we ride? I thought you didn't like. I like Big I Thunder. I didn't ride because I thought you didn't really particularly care for roller coasters. I would well, have ridden Big Thunder well, with you. Well, Big Thunder is about my favorite one there. Oh, okay. I'll do Expedition Everest. It kind of pushes me a little bit because I don't know what's going on. I feel like I'm about to fall out at one point with that one steep thing. Uh-huh. I don't know whatever that is where you go down. Yeah. But still, I managed that one okay. I, would I do this one again? I probably would. Mm-hmm. Now that I know what I'm, what's coming. Uh huh. But uh, before the ride, they say this was this the one they said the ride had multiple stops and starts or something like that. I don't remember because the ride ended 
I just remember hanging on for dear life and going, it's going to start up again. Tron just went and then it stopped. Well, it went and then it stopped. And then I thought maybe it was going to go again. Maybe I, maybe I just assumed it was going to go again. No, because we were just Tron in the queuing thing to quick. get off. But there was nothing in front of us. I couldn't tell. So it's like, in my mind, it looked like we could just fire off again. So I was hanging on for dear life in that front bar. Because <laughs> Tron's just quick. Yes. And I will say, if you want to see it, and you're never going to see it, by the way, an ugly ride photo. <laughs> this is true. <laughs> this is so true. <laughs> we both, and it's not just him, it is both of us. Both of us look like we threw up into our mouth, <laughs> swallowed it, and threw it up. <laughs> it was then, not attractive. <laughs> it's the worst ride photo ever. Oh. And it will never, ever nope. <laughs> be published. Ever. No, hopefully it's fallen off our phones by now and it's just in the it's been deleted it's by Disney servers. Horrible. I hope so. I hope it's gone for good. Oh my goodness. It is the worst photo ever. Ugh. Holy cow, it's so bad. <laughs> but that one we got off of and we could walk okay. Yes. I did my vertigo, this whole trip you would have thought would have been awful, including the cruise, whatever. Nope. Totally fine. Fantastic. After Oasis of the Seas, I thought it was weeks and weeks, almost a whole month before I felt normal again. Right. Perfectly fine. No issues whatsoever. Awesome. So who knew? Who knew? Who knew? But I was love Tron. Would I do it again? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I think I might be pushing my luck if I do it again. I didn't like it that much to do it again. It was fine. I'm glad I did it. It was fabulous. But I don't know if I push my luck with that. I liked where it went outside and it did this whole thing. And I was like going over all those people that I've seen the thing, you know, all the videos before. I'm yeah. Like, wow. This is fast. <laughs> <laughs> it was good. Now, that being said, that's one reason I don't bother to go to Cedar Point. <laughs> yeah. So, <laughs> so we, that's how we ended our day. That's how we ended the Magic Kingdom day. After right. that, we just kind of. We hung around hoping the people mover would get going again, but it did not. We did. It, and it didn't. It was mm -mm. kind of sad. We just did a little bit of shopping on Main Street looking for something we never did find. At the Magic Kingdom. Postcard. Postcards. Who knew? So I Not ran into thing. one lovely, nice cast member who said, go back to the other store, hardwood floor, over by the journals. It's right there. They're not. So we fight the crowds. We go back that way. Look right there. <laughs> they're not. Nope. They're not nope. there. So then we ask a couple other lovely cast members right there, and they're both like, I don't know. That's like, yeah, <laughs> what are postcards? <laughs> no. <Nope. laughs> that's all right. Anyway. More on the postcards later. Yeah. So anyway, we went back to the hotel. We went, took the bus back. It was a nice ride back. There wasn't too many people on the bus back to the Animal Kingdom. No, no. It, well, we had, to, was that the, we had to wait for the bus. There, yeah, there, we were, there was a wait. bus problem like, of some yeah, kind. Yeah, I think it was just a bus shift change. Maybe. Because so. we got there. The guys at the bus thing where we had to get on, he goes, I don't know. He had to drive. Hey, I have to go park my bus by the sidewalk. We're like, okay. And then another bus came and just drove straight by us. Yes. We're like, They okay. both said Animal Kingdom. Yeah, we're like, okay, so we're waiting. There was a couple other families waiting. We're like, all right. It was probably 15 minutes. Yeah, it was like 15 minutes later and a guy pulled up. I will say, at the Magic Kingdom, what are those lovely signs that tell you how far the next bus is away? Yeah. They're at the resort. They're not there. I want to know when my bus is coming. Yeah, that'd be nice. Just so I get the right mindset. If it's going to be a while, just let me know. It was all good. We came back. Went to bed. Our next day, we're ready for Epcot, but that'll have to be another episode. Yes, we're going to have to do another episode on that. Wow, we're really going long here. We have a lot to say. We are going long. Oh my goodness. But yes, we'll talk about more about Epcot later. So excited. Had a great time at the Magic Kingdom. Who would know? Who wouldn't think that we have, have a good time at the Magic Kingdom? I do. I mean, you Me know too. what? That was Dis Walt Disney's vision, though, is for grownups and kids alike to have a great time. Right. I think he kind of envisioned, you know, parents having a good time with their kids, but, you know, grownups having a good time together. You know, oh. it's just a place for everyone to have fun. So, yes, we'll have to wrap it up. Epcot next episode. Hope you enjoyed the show on the Magic Kingdom and our day there. Everybody, I'm Tim Scott. Facebook, the website, resortloop.com. See you, everybody.